the new hotness 7PRC. I love the round and I may have gone off the charts when it comes to reloading for the first time because it was so new. And now I'm looking for the Trinity, which is bullet performance, speed, and accuracy. Kent Sakamoto, Sakamoto. Kent Sakamoto with Hodgson Powders here to talk me through, okay, there's a lot going on when we, we're talking reloading new cartridges. And we do look for that speed, that accuracy, and the bullet performance but there's a lot more that goes into it. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot more that goes into it. So, you know, ideally, to your point, everybody's looking for velocity. Right. But a very fast cartridge may mm -hmm. not give you the accuracy you're looking for. Okay. You know, the, also the velocity gives you range, which gives you ideally bullet performance. Right. Because the faster the bullet's going, the better the performance is right. as far as penetration and expansion. Okay, so. but then you start talking about like case of case capacity and holding the holding capacity of a case as to which powder you're going to select. Right. And you said something off camera that kind of caught me by surprise is we're always used to setting up, we reload our guns, we head out to the bench, we set down, we get a good side picture, we break the shot, oh, it works great. But then you get out in the field and it performs different. Explain right. that process. So that's where, and a lot of reloading manuals will give you a percentage of case fill. Okay. So basically saying how far, how much of the case is full of the propellant you're using. Okay. And that's going to vary based on the burn speed of the propellant. So a slower burn speed, you're going to tend to get more propellant in there. Okay. A faster burn speed, there's less propellant. A spherical powder, there's less fill. Right. A cylindrical powder, there's more fill because it's just bulkier, right. right? But the position is, if your case is full right. of propellant, you know, 95% or better, whether you're shooting it at a, on the bench, which you're mm -hmm. horizontal, or you're shooting it uphill, or you're shooting it downhill, the powder really isn't moving in the case. Right. So it's very consistent in what it does. Okay. But if you're at like an 80 or 85% case fill, well, when it's horizontal and you're shooting all your test loads, yeah, yeah, all the air is always sitting at the top and it's consistent that way. But now when you go to shoot uphill, well, the powder moves this way and the air is up front now. Mm -hmm. And if you're downhill, the powder's moving this way and the air is in the back. And that will, will that affect your burn speeds? So it doesn't affect the burn speed, but it affects the performance of the cartridge itself. Okay. And could it be significant? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, could it be insignificant? Mm, typically not, but right. would you be able to tell? Well, if you're on the hunt, you and Absolutely. you you do your trigger pressing like I shot over that. What happened? It should be right on. Well, that could have been the difference in yeah. the change in performance of the cartridge based on the position of how the powder was in the case. It's, uh, now I'm thinking of an elk hunt that I went on uh, reloading the 7PRC. And I wonder if that's kind of what happened. I wonder if my dope changed based on that information. There, there could have been that. The other thing, if you're, you're elk hunting, if you're developing your loads in the, the spring and summer, mm -hmm. it's nice and warm, comfortable. Oh yeah. And then you're going west to a big hunt and it's colder temperatures. Temperatures have an effect on propellant performance. Okay. That's why today um, the newer propellants are temperature insensitive. Okay. So extremes of heat and cold, it's not gonna make a difference. Gotcha. Um, so older propellants, they don't have that attribute. So yeah, you can see you know, a couple hundred foot per second right. loss in colder temperatures because the energetics okay. are being affected by your environmental situation. Okay. The last thing I wanna discuss in this little conversation we're having, it's fascinating, more powder equals more power. So if you talk about a single propellant, mm -hmm. you know, um, if we're talking say Rotumbo. Yes. The more Rotumbo you could put in a case, the more velocity you should be able to get out of okay. it. Okay. Um, but if you take like the new Ramshot Grand, which is a slightly faster burn speed than oh, Rotumbo, okay. um, you have less in there to start and it's already going faster than what Rotumbo mm -hmm. would be going. 
and you could fill up and get even faster. So then you step down a, another level or, or step up as far as burn speed mm -hmm. goes and you can get even faster. Well, the problem is velocity and pressure are tied together. Right. And pressure is what causes catastrophic problems. Um, yeah. And you don't want to exceed those pressures. So there's a point of diminishing return of going okay. with too fast of a powder. And, and faster burning powders, you usually can't get the case fill. Okay. The slower burning powders will give you the case fill. Awesome. Well, one thing for sure, the Hodgen reloading manual has, it, it sets you straight and you have minimum and maximum charges in there, which is nice for a guy like me. So where should people start? So there are starting charges, maximum charges. Um, we tell you to start at the bottom, work your way up. Right. That's based on history. Um, yeah. If we take like 30-06, you know, the cartridges have been around for a long time. We don't know if it's a modern produced firearm or right. it is a surplus, you know, World War I, <laughs> you know, sporter. Right. So you got to start at the bottom, work your way okay. up to, you know, until you start seeing issues of pressure and things like right. that. But here we're dealing with a 7PRC. It is a new cartridge. Mm -hmm. um, everything is new, you know, the... All the firearms are new. It's modern manufacturing techniques, modern materials. So these are robust weapons right. platforms. So um, I'd like to start in the middle. Okay. You know, so save myself on the bottom. But what you might miss by starting in the middle and going up, trying to get the velocity side of it, right. you might miss the accuracy node with that powder because it could have been the best it accuracy been was at a lower velocity with that particular yeah propellant projectile primer combination yeah. but we missed it or disregarded it because we started in the middle and started right. working our way up and you totally missed uh, yeah. it, it all makes sense now and that's because of the hush and reloading manual and you guys offer a wide variety i mean whether you're talking about the ramshot grand the h1000 the stable hd the rotumbo it's all in there and the load data for all of them is in there depending on what your bullet is. Correct, and the annual manual lists a lot of information, but we can only put so much in print. So if you Man. go to the Hodgden website, the Reloading Data Center, yeah. there's even more load data available there. And where can they find that at? That is at hodgdenpowderco.com. All right, check them out. And if you think more powder equals more power, think again, because you might be missing accuracy and bullet performance. To see all of Gun Talk's content, go to GunTalk.com, GunTalkTV.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.